Timing is everything when playing music. Training double time will increase your general timing. There are so many benefits in training double time no matter what level you are playing on. When playing double time you are forced to listen to the subdivision of the 16 notes. Doing this you must be more precise when you are playing. And you need to play more structured and more to the point lines. Any chord structure or any melodic line can be your double time practice material. But using a common chord structure makes the application to your music much easier. I'm looking at this blues form and checking out what possibilities this gives us. <laughs> Here's so we in on the dominance in bar 1 and 2, the C7 and the F7, checking out what lines they give us. The first thing I have to get used to is fitting twice as many notes into the bar. And I'm used to hearing the resolve of the 8 note lines after 8 8 notes going to the next bar. This is of course a habit of mine when I'm playing 8 notes. This is how my vocabulary sounds like. I need to change this. A really big thing is getting used to extending the lines to twice the length in the same bar. So much is about the rhythm, it's about the phrasing. I mean, I am hearing the notes, you know, and, and I'm thinking maybe... What Chris Potter just said, this starts with hearing the phrasing, hearing the line, hearing the resolution. My method is changing the 8 note lines into 16 note lines and getting used to the sound of this. Play this first time and listen carefully to the rest and play that first note on the one in the second bar. The important thing is listening to how long that bar actually is when you're playing 16 notes. With the blues it's quite easy because there's a lot of dominance so you can fit this lick into all the bars of the blues to train this double time just in the first two beats. Leave the next two beats open. Having gotten used to the first part of the 16 note lines, I add a second part of the 16 note lines to the last part of the bar. In this way you will force yourself to play this chord double the amount of time, double the amount of notes. And getting used to not resolve the note after 8 notes. And keep playing all the 16 notes in the whole bar before resolving this to the next bar. <laughs> To make the timing stronger and enabling the continuous playing in the whole bar, I split the bar in two. This tunes my ears to clearly hear the second part of the bar, where I have to continue with the same sound. All these lines are written out in the lesson manual, which you can find on my Patreon. All in different progressions, ready to grab and go. <laughs> Make two or three bars of double time licks and add these to the tunes you are playing in all the bars. In this way you will get more and more used to playing double the amount of notes in all the bars. All these 16 note licks are of course added to different progressions in the Patreon. Grab and go. When playing 16 notes you will need to boost your speed and by this you will also need to boost your precision. Instead of playing this with a backing track only, you should definitely add a metronome to this. This will improve your timing much more since the backing track is much more forgiving with the timing where the metronome is only one click. Take this first lick which I've made complete for the whole bar and play this with the metronome on all four beats. Choose a relatively slow tempo for you to avoid making mistakes. You do not have time to make mistakes. And again, you can take any progression to add this dominant lick. Here the dominants are moving down in whole steps, you can add this to a blues form. If you have any other line you want to play, just do this. Or you can make your own licks, or you can put them in any chord progression you want. Repeat this exercise where you change the metronome pattern to the off beats. The metronome on the off beats train your feeling of the subdivisions very much. Another thing that happens in jazz improvisation is you need to be able to explode from 8 notes into 16 notes or into 30 seconds. You need to be able to change the feel of the line. And this makes a line really rhythmically interesting to listen to. And you need amazingly inner timing and subdivision to do this. 
To train this inner feeling of the subdivisions, change the metronome to 1 and 3. And you must keep your precision of your fingers and the precision of your articulation steady in between those beats. You have a lot of space there where there's no beat. Keep it steady. <laughs> The real challenge comes when you're switching the metronome to 2 and 4. You do not have the first beat of the bar. You have to feel that. You have to have a strong feeling for the subdivision. You must lock into the beat before you start playing and keep those 16 note subdivisions going inside. Further, the 2 and the 4 in the metronome gives you a very, very tight grip on the 4-4 four, four beat. You need to play 16, 16 notes in one 4-4 four, four bar. In my opinion, the 2 and the 4 spells out the bar much better than the 1 and the 3. Get all this material on the page and get your double time training going. The improvements in your general timing, your articulation and your precision will show immediately when you start training this thing. Download the lesson manual. Get more info on how to construct double time and how to boost up the speed of your playing. And check these two videos out. Play music, have fun.